Uh, yes, hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to um, mod your ISO file so you'll be able to host modded Nazi zombies or whatever, you know. Um, this is really easy, so I mean, if you really can't do this, um, I mean, you basically shouldn't be playing Xbox because, I mean, this is really as easy as it gets. So, but anyway, first thing you want to do is you want to get your... I basically have everything I need inside this little folder I created because, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just good that everything that you download put in one for us, so yeah, we keep track of everything, so first off, you want to make sure is you have your, is you have your, um, all your ISO files and all that, a good copy of Call of Duty World at War for Xbox 360, and I already, I already modded it, but I'll show you how to do it, so just calm down there, but uh, anyway, so you want to go here. And then the first thing you want to open up is called AVGX X360. You click on that. So it this opens this up. And the first thing you want to do is you click on open file. And you want to open up your disk image file. The one, the one with the big size on it, which will be like something like that. So you open it up. And you just click launch. So now it is look, checking to make sure everything is alright. So if anything is red, that means you messed up somewhere. With, that means you have a... That means you, you do not have a good copy of your Call of Duty or that work. Yellow is all right. It's just warning you about something. For example, mine says this SS contains a value angle, blah, 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 that will cause older versions of iExtreme to return a detectable bad response. Make sure your drive is flashed with iExtreme version 1.4 or newer. So just tell me to upgrade my firmware. That's all. Which I already have. But anyway, I'm going to scroll down here. So now it is right. As you can see, it says 20 five percent done and all that so it, it just give some time and it'll be done soon so I'm a, as that thing is loading I'm gonna kind of skip ahead here I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this to load downsize it the next thing you want to open up is called Xbox backup cr creator I'll open I'll open up that up in a second here when this is finished it's almost done. There's only one minute left. Alright, so it's almost done. Ten, eight, seven, six, five. Alright, so now it's about done. See, it's gonna say that, yeah, it's gonna say that, um, does that match the verified in? There are four possibilities. Um,. Shit, I don't know why it's doing it. <laughs> All I know is that my copy's good. <laughs> but anyway, it should be all green. I don't know why that's red. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, so you close that. You would open up the Xbox Backup Creator. You know, say give you a little error whatsoever. You'd go to Image Tool. Wait, yeah, Image Tools, and then you would go to Image Browse. So. Open up image file so that you'd open up this. Let that load up. All right, now now once you're in here, you want to see the common dot ff. That's the one that you want to change with the modded one. So I'll have a the link in the description with the modded one. So you want to you want to swap them out. So you'd go like here. You'd go you'd uh, replace with this one right there. And I'm not really going to do it because I don't want to mess this up. But you do that. And then you would go down to 
um, Nazi Zombies Prototype FF, and I think, uh, yeah, I'll have a link in that in the description, too, and that does it so you can host and prestige lobbies, you know, all that good stuff, so once you're done with that, you just basically just replace both of them, that's all you really do, means that you can just close it up, you're all done with that, now you would open up Image Burner, or IMG, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm not sure if I have that, oh, wait, actually, I do, down here somewhere. Um, gee. It's searching for the file. There we go, right here. See, um, IMG burn for burning. So you want to open that up. Actually, I need to install it. <laughs> Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> Can't believe I don't have this. Oh, I don't care. All right, so now it's finished. So you open it up. It's loading. Um. So now what you want to do is go to settings. I mean, yeah, settings, which is tools settings. Now make sure everything is like this. Um, go to, I mean, make sure everything is like this. Now, the thing that you want to make sure that you want to do is you want to, um, go to, you want to open up your ISO, basically. So, you go here, uh, yeah, you go here, and then you open it with notepad. Um, wait. Should, there should be an open with or something. Oh, there we go. With. Um, but anyway, there sh I mean, it should do it. I don't know why it's not doing it on mine. But if if you right click here, there, you should be able to open it up with Notepad. And then there'll be like this little code, and you copy it in the here. You click that, copy it in the here. You click OK. And then I'll just use this for now just to. Whatever, but then you click right image to file disk, and and the most important thing, if you don't want to, if you if you do not want to mess up your whole disk, you make sure you set this to two times. I mean, yeah, two times, because you don't. If you, I don't know, I don't know what would happen if you don't, but apparently it'll mess up your whole thing or whatever. But anyway, you want to make sure that is at two times, and then you just click on this little button right here, and you're all good to go. So that's basically it, how to mod your Nazi zombies, and you can do this with any game too, it, as long as it, as long as it's ISO moddable. So, but anyway, thanks for watching my video. So, um, I'll maybe, I'll probably make another video shortly on, on how to hot swap. So, but anyway, thank you for watching my video.